Curious Como. Hey there, Como. You guys are playing with a soccer ball today. Hey, Toto. What's that you've got there? Wow, you've made the tiny machine fit onto a wristwatch. Oh dear, the soccer ball shrank. Hmm, do you think we'll be able to find it? Really? There's a way to find the ball? And how do you suppose you'll find it? We all get smaller and look for the ball ourselves? Why, you silly goose! Wow! The grass looks like a huge forest now! Wow! It's a footprint of a cat! And this footprint belongs to a mouse. I guess there are a lot of animals that live around here. <laughs> Yay! We found the soccer ball! Mm -hmm. Hey, fellas, what's wrong? Wow! Now that's a very odd looking footprint. I wonder whose footprint this is. A frog alien's footprint? Toto, what makes you think that? Uh-huh. You're saying there's no animal on Earth with this kind of footprint? <laughs> what? A footprint of a dinosaur that hasn't been discovered yet? <laughs> Toto and Como's imaginations are really out of this world. What do our friends watching this think this is? If this is indeed a footprint, there must be others like it nearby. Here's another new footprint, but it's a bit different. This looks more like a chick's footprint, like Omi. This isn't what we're looking for. This is a duck's footprint. Seems like there are only duck and chick footprints around here. Hmm, I wonder whose footprint that odd one belongs to. Did you find out who it belongs to? Aha! Uh -huh. So that's what it is. It's Gomi's and Wuba's footprints combined from when they were playing soccer earlier. <laughs> Seems like we found our answer. Gomi, you used your observational and thinking skills to solve a puzzling question. Good for you! Today, we explored some footprints together with Gomo. Whenever we walk on soft ground or snow, we leave footprints. You can guess what animal left it just by looking at it. This here is a cat footprint. And this one belongs to a horse. Wow, this one here is a bear's footprint. This is fun, isn't it? Hey, Gomo, until next time, stay curious, curious. Everybody's asleep tonight. Gomi, what are you doing up? Ah, you need to go to the restroom. Oh, 
taking a closer look, it's just a reflection of some sort. Where is the light coming from? has some sort of indentation and the outside of it is orange in color. The surface is hard, but it does have a little push to it and it's smooth. It's almost like the outer shell of a watermelon, kind of. Let's explore the inside of it as well. Hmm? There's a candle inside. I see. The light from the candle is shining through the holes to make that shape earlier. The inside is also orange in color. The inside is not like the outside. It's incredibly soft and moist. How's it taste, Gomi? Wow! She says it's soft and sort of sweet. <laughs> Can you guess what this is, friends? This is a pumpkin! But why does this pumpkin have a scary face carved into it? That's because it's Halloween tomorrow! There's nothing like a pumpkin jack-o'-lantern to represent Halloween! <laughs> Oh dear, even the scary jack o lantern is nothing but a yummy treat for Whoopa. <laughs> Today we explored a pumpkin together with Gomo. A pumpkin has a soft, sweet taste to it. That's why we can use it to make lots of yummy foods. There are many different kinds of pumpkins, too. The pumpkin has a hard outer covering to it, and inside it's full of soft, sweet parts with seeds in it as well. It's the soft, fleshy part that we eat. There are a lot of children out there afraid of pumpkins because of the jack-o'-lantern. But pumpkins are really delicious and very good for us. So, make sure you get close with this not-so-scary friend. <laughs> Till next time, curious, curious!